welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about resistance bands or as they are more known as booty bands. So I'm going to be talking about whether they actually work for glute growth and I'm going to be looking into the science of what actually is glute and muscle growth and whether booty bands are actually enhancing that or whether they're just a little accessory that all the influencers are talking about. I'll finally be giving you a couple of the best exercises that I do recommend for glute growth, whether that's with a resistance band or not. And yeah, just the positives and negatives of whether you've got one or whether you don't, whether you need one or not. So let's get straight into it. And don't forget to give this video a nice big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more of these sciencey related fitness topics. Let's just get straight into it. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the science behind glute growth and what it is that actually is causing your glutes or your muscles to get bigger. So growing your muscles in size is called muscular hypertrophy and that's simply being able to put enough resistance and enough muscle tear onto your muscles for them to then repair and then grow in size. So let's look at your butt. Here's your bum. Your bum is split into three parts your glutes are split into three parts your glute maximus so this is the biggest section of your glutes this is responsible for your hip extensions which is mainly into your hip thrusts your hip extension here's your hip here's your hip flexed here's your hip extended yeah then we move into your glute medius this is the slightly smaller section of your glutes, slightly to the side. This is involved in hip abduction. Glute minimus, same thing, it's a little bit smaller and same idea of glute abduction and just in that side region. So I'm just gonna start by explaining the benefits of a resistance band in terms of training your glutes with just a resistance band or training your glutes as part of a weight training program. So obviously, say a weighted barbell squat with a resistance band. So without the weight training and you're just using resistance band, that's brilliant for beginners because a resistance band in itself is a weight. So you're going to be putting your muscle to some sort of tension, to some sort of strain, and you will cause some muscle damage if you are a complete beginner. Your muscles have never felt this before. If you're suddenly doing hip thrusts and if you're doing hip abduction with this resistance band, your glutes are going to be actually going, hmm, this is a weird movement. I'm going to adapt to this movement and that's where you will get a benefit from it. However, if you now look at implementing a resistance band with weight training, this is where it is incredible. It's also really good for being on its own if you're looking at doing glute burnout, so working till failure, pushing your muscle to its absolute maximum by doing reps until you physically cannot do any more reps. So when we look into progressive overload, that'll probably keep increasing. So say you're gonna do a bunch of, you're gonna do a bunch of resistance band kickbacks. If you could do 50 one time, then in about a month's time, you can probably do about 70 and that is still working till failure. You're pushing your body to how far it physically can possibly go. Okay, so we've come outside now and I've got one heavy resistance band uh, and one medium resistance band. And we're gonna start off by talking about why they are good for grow growing your glutes. If you're not familiar with the resistance band, a small resistance band that is, they are mainly to go around your knees or to go around your ankles and they are adding a way of doing hip abduction. So hip abduction is from the hips and moving your knees outwards. Very weird, very weird movement. So what I will show you here is what a normal squat is. So without a resistance band, I'm simply going to squat down and come back up. The way that the glutes are working for this is in my hip flexion and my extension. So I'm coming down, my hips are now flexed and they're going to extend and come up. So that is working my glute maximus. Now what is gonna happen once I put a resistance band on is it's gonna enhance my glute medius and minimus to start doing hip abduction. So I'm now going to have activated all three parts of my glutes. So same thing in terms of hip thrusts. Using a chair because we're in isolation, no judging. Hip thrusts. I'm going to be using hip extension to get my glutes from down here up here. 
once they add a resistance band onto this. I have then added my glute medius to work for that, that situation. Okay, so now we're going to start to look at some of my favourite booty exercises. We're going to start with the kickback. This is an isolation exercise, mainly targeting your glute maximus. And if you go to the side, you're going to get some slight abduction in there for your glute minimus. Then we've got a fire hydrant, which is mainly abduction, working your glute medius and your minimus. Now we've got a glute bridge, similar to a hip thrust, but a little bit less range of motion. And now we've got some clams, which is hip abduction. You can do this on a chair if you want. And now we've got some squats into an abduction. Really good for working all three parts of your glutes. And finally, we've got a standing abduction. If you do it right to the side, you're going to get your glute max involved as well as some abduction. And finally, a uh, squat. Now we're going to explain where the resistance band isn't the best thing in the whole wide world. Now it's up to you on whether you're actually causing your muscle enough damage and enough tension on it because of a little thing that we all like to call progressive overload. Now progressive overload put simply is increasing the intensity over time. So say you were to use this resistance band completely on its own, you were gonna do a couple training sessions, working on your glutes, squats, hip thrusts, kickbacks. You're gonna do all of those with just a resistance band, doing the same set, same rep. After a couple weeks, a couple months, you will eventually, your glutes will eventually become used to the weight of that resistance band. It will be used to the size of the resistance band because it's got each resistance band has got a certain weight, whether it's small, medium, heavy. They're all a specific weight on them. And therefore, eventually, you will get used to that weight. You need to add more weight. You need to change your reps and you need to change your sets. Constantly following the same influencer's booty regime of doing set number of kickbacks, bum in 30 days. No, you need to now personally think, is this training my glutes hard enough? If it's not, then you need to start implementing progressive overload, adding a weight to this resistance band. Resistance bands are insane if you're adding them onto an already adapted training plan. Again, what I'm saying, you're activating more muscles, you're creating another plane of movement within your exercise. I'm just gonna really quickly talk about what booty bands you should be getting, what resistance band you should be getting. It does not matter. I get asked a lot of times, oh, which one should I be getting? Should I be getting the rubber one? Should I be getting the fabric one? Should I be getting it from B&D? Should I be getting it from eBay, Amazon? It doesn't matter, any booty band, any resistance band is helpful. Just make sure you know what sort of weight you're looking at. I do recommend the fabric ones more because the rubber ones can like bend over your legs and fold over and they're very annoying. However, there are brands that sell them that are about 15 pounds for just one little band. Whereas you can get them on Amazon for about five or six pounds. So no names being mentioned there. I'm just saying, yeah. Hi, and I didn't seem to manage to say goodbye on that one, but thank you for watching. That's all I'm gonna say. And if you wanna see any more of this, please leave some comments on what you wanna see or anything in the whole wide world. So love you lots. Thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.